Alright, good day again guys. Today we'll be trying to do a reaction. Trying to do a redox reaction between potassium iodide and acidify, acidified iron 2 sulfate. Now these are two reducing agents. Right? If you know anything about redox reaction, you will realize that potassium iodide and iron 2 sulfate are two reducing agents and we're going to try to perform a redox reaction with both reagents and see what occurs um you will you will realize during this experiment that you will see that there is a particular observation that will we will encounter when we reach that point so let us start so the first thing we're going to add is the 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 iron two sulfate solution in our test tube so we're adding a small portion not adding a lot small portion of iron two sulfate in our test tube and then we're going to acidify it using dilute sulfuric acid right it's about four drops or three drops that is good enough and then we're going to shake it a little right so it's acidified our iron 2 sulfate is acidified and then now we are going to add a small amount of potassium iodide and see what occurs now you need to look carefully at this reaction if anything occurs we're going to look carefully remember the color before we see in the the orange color of the pot of the iron 2 sulfate solution so we are going to now add the, the the potassium iodide and see if there's any changes in the reaction so you see there's no change in the reaction no reaction no visible reaction occurring we're going to observe it for a short while and see if there's anything if anything changes as the reaction proceeds right but we're not seeing any reaction so far now if a reaction took place we should have some amount of iodine in this mixture some amount of iodine should be in this mixture as well as some amount of iron some amount of iodine should be in this mixture and no or a small amount of iron 2 should remain now if iron 2 remains in our in this mixture we know that there was no visible reaction but that is just something that we are saying based on the color no color change or no form of reaction no change taking place in the in the in, in the in the in the test tube so far but as scientific people we can't operate based on what we think so we're going to test if there's any iodine form if a reaction occurred there would be some form some amount of iodine present and there would not would not be a large quantity or a, a, a significant amount of iron 2 present because that was already there from the initial stages so we are going to test if there is still iron 2 present in our you know in our mixture here so what we're going to do, we're going to pour some profit in a clean beaker. Some profit in a clean beaker. Right? And we're going to test it to see if iron 2 is still present in our reaction. In our in our in the con in our mixture. Alright, so we're going to use dilute ammonia to do that. Alright, and see if there's any there's a particular change that to take place if iodine is present. Let me use a white back background so that you guys can see. Use a white background so that you can see if there is any difference in in what in in in, in significant difference in the color of the mixture that is inside our beaker. This one. Remember, this is coming from our test tube. All right. So we're going to test and see using ammonia, a small amount. So we test. Right, and we already seen what is saw. Seen green precipitate farming. Now a green precipitate farming green precipitate farmed when aqueous ammonia was added to the contents of our 
the mixture that was in our test tube this signifies that the, the iron 2 is still present in the in the mixture which mean, meant that as i was saying no reaction occurred between the acidified iron 2 sulfate and the potassium iodide right so this was a reaction between two reducing agents and no reaction occurred and that is that is indicated by the presence of the iron 2 still in in, in 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 the mixture that is in the test tube so that is one test that can prove that no reaction occurred between iron sulfate and potassium iodide but we're going to test also for iodine see if iodine is present in our in our in our test tube any at all so let us do that if iodine is present we should get if iodine, we're going to use start solution if iodine is present our start solution should change when the content of our test tube is added to it to, to blue black so we're going to look and see if we get any blue black so we did not get any blue black that is telling us there's no iodine no blue black right no blue black color was produced in the start solution that is you can look for yourself no blue black so that is telling us that this reaction did not occur the reaction between ki and potassium iodide didn't did not occur in the test tube right so we get in the the iron two plus ions they are still in the mixture and there's no iodine present right so two reducing agents came together in a reaction and no reaction occurs so this is an example of a reaction that does not occur when iron 2 plus iron 2 plus iron 2 plus iron 2 plus sulfate and and potassium iodide try to react in a redox reaction no reaction occur all right so hopefully we got you guys learned something today and you can continue to build and your content with, with regarding redox reaction oxidation and reduction all right thank you very much and i hope that you guys learned